Okay, hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm gonna do my very first ever review of a SciShow Hot Toy Collectibles. Uh, this time it's gonna be the Mandalorian and Grogu Special Edition, the one that just came out. Uh, I actually got it yesterday and I have not looked at it and it's been on pre-order for a while and just they started shipping them and we got the box here. Uh, I decided to go with double box because uh, UPS always messes up the See what I tell you, messes up your uh, shipment. So we're gonna try to get this bad boy unboxed. And I'm gonna be looking at it for the first time, giving you my honest thoughts, and we're gonna look at it together. So it's unboxing review and thoughts about it. Uh, since I got a double box, I'm not worried about cutting into it. Uh, this is what you get when you get the double box in. You just basically get a a bigger box. The Mandalorian Season 2 uh, with Grogu set, Deluxe Set. This is a special Deluxe uh, Edition 1. Here's our box. In this case, uh, you know, normal. And the good thing about the double boxing is you don't have to have... Uh, like a label messing up your your box if you're a collector if you want to keep them like this is the way to go i think it was just like it's not even like 20 bucks more or something like that to uh to actually get the double box in but well, it's worth it if you on this case i was trying to well sometimes you have the little cardboard sometimes you don't in this case they put a little cardboard in there so that way you won't mess up the, the figure and then inside of it you can see, as always, regular uh, Hot Toys box with the paper. Get him out of the box. I'm out of the bag. Alrighty, let's see. Now that we have the box in here, this is typical uh, Hot Toys. Uh, box with the black box with the picture of the figure in the front and the second portrait this is because I said this is the uh, special edition you got all the extra stuff and you got a second portrait of uh, the Mandalorian without his helmet uh, with the little paper uh, wrapped around it you got another picture of the Mando on this side on the back of course you got every, the, all the people that work on it the warnings the Disney uh, logo Hot Toys what it is and this one will be our TMS052 like we said so as soon as we open it we get first the the picture another picture of the post of the figure that's actually what everybody would like to post a mask that is after the his ship blew up and so he's got the all the accessories he even have the Boba Fett uh, helmet and I think it's the jetpack with them too. So we take this off and you get your typical clamshell with all the accessories. You get the figure at the bottom. Uh, and we take this top. And at the bottom you get all the extra accessories with the base and the bags and everything that comes with. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get this figure out Out of the bag let me put him back over here where well, you guys see it everything there it comes with all the protective stuff because the paint and that as you can see at the beginning is very very chromed it's amazing chrome figure and i like that they started doing this now because uh usually the plastics uh they're tight really tight and you have to cut into it and and see like this one and sometimes you risk cutting into the figure as well. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get this off and off camera and then I'll be back and I'll show you the figure and all the accessories it comes with. Give me a second, we'll be right back. First impressions, let me tell you. I don't know if you guys can tell. This guy is very, very shiny. This is after he's get the Beskar uh, armor on 
you have some weathering in here, some sand and stuff. All his bandolier with uh, different accessories in there. The helmet, oh my lord. Amazing. Uh, even when we go around, we have some uh, detonators right there at the, at the belt. There we go. And even the cape. It's got a uh, wire so you can pose it and also it's got some battle damage because it's been through a lot. Uh, unlike the first Mandalorian figure that it was more brown and he still had the brown padding. Uh, there was one shoulder pad that it could be exchanged for the Minotaur, I think it is. Uh, his sign. And But this one is, you can see even with the light how shiny this figure is. I uh, don't know about the fingers. I mean, we're not going to be touching the figure too much. Uh, you can even get a little rag and polish it. Uh, looking at the boots, we got some green going on in here. Uh, the threading underneath it is amazing with the make, make at the bottom. Uh, I don't know. This figure is amazing. You got the, the holster at the, at the side for these guns. We're going to look at the accessories in a second. So, basically... That's your Mando. And what we're going to look at it, we want to see, because the portrait of Pedro Pascal uh, is a separate figure, it's a separate head. Of course, you don't have to take the helmet out. That's usually, they used to do that where you put the helmet uh, on the figure, but it has to be oversized and it won't really look uh, realistic. So in this case, here's our Pedro Pascal. Look at him. Look at the paint application and, and also since they do not take their helmets off ever you know you can tell that you got some cowlicks if you will from wearing the helmet uh through the whole season Let's see if we can get closer and look at that paint application on the eyes too yes we got the white light uh you know trying to show you guys but you can still see that's damn this is the best portrait so far that i think that we have of pedro and he looks amazing also i cannot wait to see him on the last of us which is already out of one episode or two episodes I don't, i'm not sure and then also of course you get the again the grogo figure same one that uh I think it came with the other one. I don't know if it's a new sculpt or not, but the problem with this one is I think the other one had uh, articulated arms. This one don't. I don't know why, but it's very well sculpted. It looks amazing. So he can be inside the bag while he's carrying him around. It looks really good. Let's see. Yep, yeah, we got a little bit of articulation on the head, up and down, and sides. So that way we can have him on a on a post. He looks amazing. Actually, I love uh, Baby Grogu, Baby Yoda. <laughs> Everybody call him. Okay, let's uh, get the accessories out and see what he comes with. Okay, guys, we are back uh, again. We have all the accessories uh, down uh, out of the out of the the clamshells. Uh, there's a, as you can see, there's a lot of accessories. There's a bunch of them. And before we get into the uh, instructions, because you have the instructions where everything goes, I still know a little bit of what uh, what it's each one of them is and what it does. Uh, I've been waiting for it. The, what, we first, I'm gonna show you. Is we have the the same sand Tatooine desert planet uh, base that we get with a lot of our figures, and this time they have they still have the the little uh, what you call the, the footprints already in the sand, which is kind of aggravating sometimes when you want to pose them, but uh, it's just your basically, you know, Hot Toys base uh, for Star Wars, and, uh, and there we got the Mandalorian uh, hands. You get uh, three sets of hands, two on the right, uh, the right side, and two on the left uh, hand, one fist, one set of fist hands, another set of, uh, you could use it as a thumbs up, or you can also use it to grab a uh, hold of the blade, if you want to have the blade on. And we're going to see what, what we're talking about. And then you have a couple of uh, firing hands uh, when you put a blasters on them. 
uh, same details, same gloves and everything. We don't have no ungloved hands. So it's basically you get your main pair. So that will give you four pair of hands. It's relaxed. Uh, you can still put some some of the uh, accessories in there, especially if you want to grab the the uh, the main rod, which is this is the figure uh, key element. This is what he's going to be holding, like we saw in the picture. Uh, the beginning of it is he's going to be holding from here, and then all the accessories is going to be hanging from. And he got basically that from the ship after he blew up. We have the Viber Blade, the Beskar, uh, I mean Beskar Blade, not the Viber, sorry. His Beskar Spear that he won against that woman when he was fighting that uh, pretty much Asian episode, very Japanese, where he had the Beskar uh, Blade. And when Ahsoka showed up, you have his Gaffy Rifle, Viber Viper Blade, uh, Viper, uh, I don't know, this one is the one that debuted with Boba Fett in the holiday special for 1977-78, and that's just basically Viper Blade with the scope, you can, uh, I don't know if you can remove that or not, I'm not even going to try that at the moment, but uh, yeah, the details on this is freaking amazing, and then you got the little strap with the little uh, peg, which usually the peg is what uh, usually comes off and you get it broken and a lot of people can complain about that and don't know which way uh, to make it easier but that's going to be a problem when it comes to having to hook it and unhook it so be careful when you do that here's your dark saber with the uh, little uh, hilt clip and that's the main key for the episode ending or the season ending on season what two i think it was he's trying to get it from moff gideon uh actually the hilt looks amazing uh, there's an effect on there and also what you can do is if you want it unlit you can take the the part of the hilt off right there and you put this one in so it looks like it's not lit up instead of just taking the blade off they just taking the whole thing off which is better because you know you don't want that to break all right also just right quick uh there's the little bags uh you got the little hanging strap yeah, this is all gonna be hanging from there uh stuff that's been carrying it's been it's been padded, it's fabric, and it's been padded uh, with some foam inside, so it looks like it's got a lot of stuff in it. Uh, another one is similar to, but different shape, with the same strap, right there. You have an, uh, oh, I didn't mention before, you, uh, oh, it's good to have just a little extra uh, pegs, wrist pegs, just in case, because usually if you're moving too much, they might break. So we have that. We have an extra belt uh, holder we're going to read the instructions where do we put this one but it's just basically just to hang all the stuff uh, this is the one where Grogu is going to be sitting in it we're going to be able to get it out and, and see how we hang him from him uh, you know, we have the basic strap there he's going to be hanging there and inside there's a little it's a little uh, base so let's give it some weight to it when you put them in there i don't think this is removable because it looks like it's it's been it's been stuck in there but basically what you do you're just going to put your grogu figure inside of it and he's going to carry it carry him around uh his best car jetpack with the little clip here too because you can actually clip him instead of having him use it i don't know if you can see the clip and basically what it is, they added some padding on the back so that way you don't have to do any clips like you used to do with Boba Fett. So when you get the figure, you look at the back, you put the cape away, and just basically just magnetic. It just clips in there, and then you can put the, the cape. I don't remember if the cape goes to the right side or the left side. But basically that's what it is. I think it goes on that side. And you just clip it there, and with the... The wires that the cape has you can do anything you want with it and pose it 
So yeah, basically just that. And they added, good thing they added the pattern that way the, the material on the back won't start getting destroyed. You have uh, a set of flames, not a set, but one flame, which is gonna come out of his wrist. And uh, supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be on this side, maybe on that side. Just cause the whistling birds. So we're gonna we're gonna read the instructions to see which side he's supposed to have the flame for. I think it's on this side, and there's a supposed to be a from the wrist coming out. I don't know. We're gonna read the instructions to see how you do it, but this is basically what your uh, flame. And on the same token too, you have the little hook, grappling hook also that you're gonna attach to his wrist, and to make him shoot it or act like he's shooting it you have the whistling birds here they're not out yet but then you can exchange it for one that uh, just put him down one that's already being shot out it's a uh, different one that looks like it's shooting it uh, once you, when you put it in it looks like the you see the difference the whistling birds is coming out of the of this uh, compartment there and not only that, when you do that, you also have the replacement for that one too. If you want to uh, act like he's shooting them already, you can see my the tip, well painted, they're flying, and then you replace that part. But I'm not going to do all that because I just want my figures to last a little longer. If you take your time, you can do it. You have a little uh, hook and to put your viper blade, a little clamp. Uh, you can actually clamp it in there and then w once you put it there you can have it hanging from the from his uh, shoulder if you want to depends how you want to pose them we're going to read the instructions to see i don't like that one too much because usually when you uh you're taking it in and out it's just uh it's going to start messing up your your figure itself you have the flashlight i think he's got on his helmet it's basically what it is is a little it's a little panel right here on his side right there which you're going to replace it with this one and up like that and then you're going to have his flashlight sticking on the back on the side of it you have an extra set of uh detonators just one that you can have them on his hand if you want to just a half of one it's not the round ones that the thermal detonator is just the one you just place it. It's not magnetic, I don't think. Let me see. Let's check. Nope, it's not magnetic, so it's not going to stay there. It would be nice if it was magnetic and you just place it somewhere. But, uh, you know, it's just being nitpicking. You got his regular blaster that he has through his whole series. Right there. Amazing blaster too, the, the quality and the the paint job and the attention to detail to this is amazing. Nothing moves, nothing clips or nothing. Basically that's your amazing blaster. And then we have uh, his little blade. He takes out of his boot, I believe, on the side of his boot. It's right there straps out of there there's a little strap there for for you to put the blade in there if you want to have him holding the blade you can amazing too weather in you can see where the paint and stuff already started to coming off from being used it's a little, a little sharp but it's not you know enough to poke or anything but it's just it's fun just a fun uh, accessory and also you get your device i'm assuming this is your probe the one that he looks around to find stuff I believe that's what it is. You can tell me if I'm wrong or not, correct me later, or I'm going to look at the instructions. And the best feature ever, I think, is your Boba Fett jetpack. The one that the, uh, the what was his name? The, the sheriff for that town, I can't remember his name, I had uh, for his armor. This is the one he was trying to return to his. Uh, to his owner, which was actually Boba Fett, but he didn't know it was Boba Fett. And you have 
Boba Fett, Boba Fett's helmet, right? As he coming out of the out of the Sarlacc. You can see all the destruction from the Sarlacc, all the paint, all the acid that's been eating the paint. You have the little holes in there that's always been there, the little dent. Uh, the inside of it has been painted. Uh, it's got all the details. Because, again, this is not helmets that you put on a figure. If you were to try to get him to wear it, you can see that, you know, it won't freaking go. So, this is just for show. And and I like when you have to switch the helmets. I mean, because that way you won't look oversized. It's always, they always look oversized. And you got the little antenna there, too. I believe that that's... It does move? No. It doesn't move. I don't want to push it. It looks like it might move because it's got the little... But I just don't want to push it too much. We'll see on, on, the, on the instructions if it does. And you can hang it. That's basically everything it comes with. Let's see. In a second, we're going to look at the instructions, see what we missed, and, and, and see what he looks like post. Okay, first thing I want to talk about it was the, when you take the head off to display the uh, the Pedro Pascal. It has a little protective foam right there, which is amazing. That one when you, uh, you know, slide it in, you, it will give you a little bit of neck uh, proportion there. So it won't, first it won't mess up your figure and then it, it'll kind of give it like a little thickness to it. So it's amazing. And then what you do is when I took it off, all the whole neck came off. So I didn't have no problems with it. So you just basically just go in there, put your Pedro Pascal uh, face on there, and then push in, it'll click. And But I don't know if I'm going to display him like that or not. Also, if you do that, you can have this neck removed, and you can have him holding the, the helmet uh, for you to see if you want to uh, if you want to have his helmet down. And that's, that's amazing. That's awesome to have him like that. So while we are trying to pose them, and I'm trying to put all the accessories on the little handle stuff there, the bar, to give you an idea, you know, because of all the padding and everything, you can still come out like that, bend the elbow, it's got a 90 degrees elbow, so you can do this, and it's basically almost going to go all the way around, and because you'll be able to have him holding the the bar see you can get it so this his articulation is very very natural looking and it's amazing because that way now he can have him i'm gonna have him holding the the bar behind him like we see in the picture and see what happens uh the way it looks and also the the blaster the mandalorian blaster and his jetpack he's i'm having a really hard time with the jetpack because it says here that there's a hook I don't know if you guys see it. There's a hook right there on the left side of your screen, and that's where your Mandalorian jetpack clip, the little metal thing there, is gonna go in there. And it's like a regular hook where you would slide the little small pin out. But my problem with that is it's molded, so I can't slide it through. And I'm afraid if this being metal, it might mess it up so I'm not gonna attach it so the, basically this is gonna be hanging like this and the whole thing's gonna be hanging for the fall that he's holding but I'm not doing that I'm not putting the whistling birds and stuff I'm just basically gonna leave him holding this like that I might put the jetpack maybe slide not stuff in but it basically you just slide it in if it's going too far because it's gonna hold from one here and one there you can slide them over that's what it's gonna be holding and then we're gonna have Grogu hanging from the bag to in front of him. So we'll we'll see in a second how good it well it looks and uh, Give you my last uh, thoughts So here we go. He's our Mandalorian. We know his glory uh, uh, There was a little bit of a hard time trying to get this in there because the, there's a lot of weight if you see it There's a lot of weight coming in here even though it's everything is so uh, foamy and plastic, but uh, You have to maneuver his shoulders thank god he has the butterfly joints over here so you can push his arm all the way back also of course his uh once i take this off i'll show you but uh, his head also push forward so you can have him like he's trying to carry it it kind of looks weird from this side but that's how you can uh, pose him 
and make it look a little bit natural, you know, because if you were carrying all the heavy stuff, yeah, you, you will be in trouble too. And this is all your accessories there. And you can tell by the weight, because my hand has already started to aggravate me a little bit. So I've been playing with it a while and trying to get it right. I did not put the rifle on him, which you go, so the little clip goes in here because I, I heard from many, many people that they have problems over there where the, the little clip here breaks off the little peg. I don't know why they want to, where is it at? They want to do that peg right there and that goes in there. And usually once it's there, it's all good, but sometimes you take it out and there's a little break. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, his blade, I didn't use that either on this pose. Uh, you can see pretty much on his own, he, you can balance him with his legs. I'm not using the, the base for him. And he's balancing pretty good in there. You got the Grogu figure hanging over here too. You can see how, how shiny it is. I will show you without the light. Let's turn the light off. And you can see in the dark still shines a lot with the overhead light and the outside window. So, And you can see there how it shines. Uh, the paint work you can you can see all the the metallic paint and the wear off that they use for this figure. It looks amazing. It looks like he's been through a lot, and and that's what Yumando is. You know, the Mando ever since we see him on the series is just always doing stuff. You know, he's just a money hunter. He's doing a lot of stuff. Especially now, he's got to take care of little Grogu. So yeah, uh, figure's amazing. I love the figure. The details are amazing. I would recommend this one if you have uh, to choose one figure of the Mandalorian. Uh, and we're talking about just the Mandalorian because we have the other edition of the Mandalorian where you have before the best card, you have an intermediate best card. You have one with the Grogu and the pod, which I already have. I'll, I'll give you a picture in a second uh, of it, uh, what it looks like. And this one doesn't have with the pod because the pod was destroyed in the ship, I think. Or when he was rescuing him, I think the pot was a shrug, I can't remember. You also get the very first Pedro Pascal Mandalorian Din Ducharin, uh portrait. It's the only one. Like I was telling you, it was a little hard time because you had to take the neck off and then there's a little padding around this the there's on his uh neck on the figure itself, the fabric for the cape doesn't come off, so you have to kind of play with it and pull it up a little bit and try to get it uh, to fit just right. And that's, I was a little pain in the ass to, to do, but we got it done. You have your very first blade, Beskar uh, spear. That's amazing too, that goes with him. It's the paint, I, sh I wish it was a little bit more compatible with the Mandalorian, because if you see him, uh, it's supposed to be the same material, right? So the best card is best card, but you can see the difference, how much the armor shines and how much duller the blade is. So you can tell there that it could have been a little bit shinier, but that's just nitpicking a little bit. So I'm okay with it. All the accessories that you have that you've seen, they're amazing. Uh, you can have them post them throwing stuff or shooting and doesn't have to have the, the post that I, that I have done. You can put his blaster oh. you can put his blaster in uh in the holster too so that you will raise up the the little thing here actually you don't that's that's surprising that's gonna be a problem there because if when you start putting them in there it might start stretching or break so you guys be careful with that that's the reason why i don't do a lot with my figures because uh you have to take your time and right now i'm just doing the review for you and I don't want to do a lot of posing stuff. You got the extra, extra, or just to hold them. I'm not sure which one is for. And yeah, all your little accessories. So I hope you guys liked it. And I'm going to be doing more reviews. We're, we're waiting for the DeLorean, the Back to the Future DeLorean. I'm going to do a live unboxing too. It's going to be bigger. So I'm going to have a little bit of problems uh, trying to get everything set in here. I'm trying to get a better uh, box, uh, light box. Uh, this case, I'm just doing it on where I can at the moment being my first one. I just wanted to give you a first look of what the uh, Mandalorian and Grogu Deluxe Edition is. And so you guys can have your own opinion. I think you should go for it. If there's one Mandalorian figure that you want, I think you will want to buy this one. 
just my opinion i think this one is the way to go uh let me show you from the back and yeah i believe this is your mandalorian and this is the way and i have spoken so yeah thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like also i stream uh, video games on twitch so make sure you check the description to go to my twitch channel and let me know what you think if you have any questions i will answer everything i can and i will answer the, every, every question so let me know and i will see you guys on the next review here's your mandalorian thank you so much for watching guys